chapters of Cancers, my lovely Cancers. I'm hoping all is well with each and every one of you. I'm thanking you all for your likes, your shares, your comments, and your subscribes. I truly and highly appreciate it. Right, Cancerians, let's see what messages Spirit has for you today. Let's see what Spirit wants you to know for the month of March. So some of you definitely could be feeling like really tired and drained, Cancerians. Like, because I've literally done a reading before this and I, I didn't feel like this. And then all of a sudden now, I feel drained, like bad karma inside scoop. So someone could be going through some form of karma here. Okay, and this is being revealed to you or it will be revealed to you for the month of March, okay? I call on all elements. I call on my assigned angels and my ancestors to guide me in spirit and in truth. Anybody who is trying to stop me or block me from delivering these messages will fall down and perish. Any energies that are being sent my way that are not my own will be returned to its rightful sender. A million fold. Ashe and Amen. Messages for Cancerians, please, Spirit. What do Cancerians need to know? Literally, a follow up from your last reading, like part one and part two. So I am getting that. Some of you could be watching like a lot of series, a lot of movies as of um, lately, or you will be like for the month of March. Like maybe movies are very synchronistic. Like maybe there's going to be a lot of channel messages in movies for the month of March, but there's legal issues coming up first. So this could be you or somebody around you who is going through this here, Cancerians. We have obsessive lover, okay? We have clout hungry. So whoever this obsessed ex-lover is, they're clearly going through some form of legal issues. With clout hungry, I feel like they're trying to make you out to be the bad person. They could be trying to bring you or draw you into their legal issues here. Okay, and then we have always partying. Could be dealing with a Virgo, hearing that Beyonce song. We like to party. Hey. We have dirt digging, same shit, different day. Haunted. Yeah, so I feel like someone here is definitely feeling haunted because in this dirt digging energy, again, there's like a police officer, like something like synchronistic coming up about you here, okay? And I'm looking at this motherfucker here when he's fisherman hat and I got on a fisherman hat today and I'm like, what is motherfuckers like trying to dirt dig on me? Okay. So yeah, like I feel like this is what this person does, like same shit, different day. I feel like with this haunted energy, okay, again, it's very synchronistic to your other reading previously um, to this. So again, part one, part two type shit. But I feel like this person's karma is to never forget you. That's like how I feel like someone's karma is to never forget you. We have jackpot and dirt digging. So you could be coming into a lot of money. You could potentially be winning the lottery or... Again, someone is viewing you as someone who is very abundant. They feel like you're running into a lot of money or you're coming into a lot of money here. Yeah, we have dodging bullets. This is someone who you've avoided. Scarcity tactics. So again, it's like this person here is trying to manipulate their way back into your life. Okay, or again, they're up to some fuck shit behind the scenes here. Let's see. Will you catch me when I fall? He's lying to you. That's what I'm getting. Like someone wants you to kind of like take the, the, the rap or the, or the fall for the crime that they have committed. So like, be careful. Like somebody could even be trying to set you up. Okay. Like, will you catch me when I fall? Like I'm also getting um 50 cent energy, which is your energy. 20, um, 21 questions. That's the vibe that I'm getting. It's like if someone knows that they could potentially be locked up for a very long time and it's like they want to know if you're going to be there for them, if you're going to be down for them. Like, I don't know. I feel like someone like knows that they can't escape their karma. Like they know that karma is catching up. Legal issues. Why is this here for Cancerians? Legal issues, please. Okay, so this could be like a divorce case or a child custody case or this could have something to do with like 
children here turn back jungle justice they will die for what they did to you okay so this could have something to do with a child or somebody in your family who passed away this could be like an unsolved murder case confirmation okay obsessive lover why is this here please for cancerians okay stop trusting your friends like this energy keeps coming out for you here cancerians about this house fire Okay, or again, like four of wands energy, relationship energy, soulmate, twin flame energy. This person here, this obsessed um, ex-lover of yours could be a fire sign. Or again, this person here could potentially be dangerous. Like a child could pass away in a house fire and this energy keeps coming out. Like a child may pass away in a house fire or something unjust was done to a child here. And it's because like somebody's obsessed ex-lover can't get their shit together. Like, they're crazy. We have go the distance, things ain't what they appear to be, and try harder, literally, and maybe next lifetime. So this could be, like, a past life situation where, like, whoever this obsessed lover is, this is someone who is, like, coming to, like, finish their job, complete their job here. They feel like they have unfinished business with you based on the past life. Again, will you catch me when I fall? So I'm getting somebody throwing a child out of a window, what the fuck is this? This is like a karmic energy here. Or someone here doing something mean, spiteful to children here. Clout hungry. Why is clout hungry here, please? It's never too late to achieve your goals. Like, literally, someone sees you like the glamorous. Ooh, the flossy, flossy. So your name could begin with G-L-A or M, or this person's name could begin with G-L-A or M, whoever's like trying to be clout hungry, okay? Like someone sees you like, I'm hearing, welcome to the good life. So someone sees you like living the good life. Again, 50 told me, go ahead, switch the style up. And if they hate, then let them hate, and watch the money pile up. So like someone's hating, like... They see you get into the bag. They see you get into the money and they pissed off. Like, what's the code? Like, they want to know the blueprint like a week ago. So this has been someone who has been stalking you. Something significant about the a week ago or the number seven. Okay. Yeah, this is like a fake ass bitch who's watching you. The well has run dry. This could be like a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Again, will you catch me when I fall? So it's like someone feels like they should have what you have. Someone feels like you shouldn't be successful without them or they're entitled to your accomplishments or your success. Yeah, the well has run dry. Like, just stop. Like, whoever this person is, it's like, they're doing too much. Why is always partying here? Please, for Cancerians. Literally, bitch. Like, Cancers. To me, this is like blessings upon blessings upon blessings. Like, your cup is running over. Like, literally, like, you've got cups everywhere. Like, there's something for you to celebrate about. So this could be, like, you could be celebrating. Like, you could be going out and partying. That's R. Kelly. So you could be, like, partying with, like, a Capricorn or something. Because R. Kelly's a Capricorn. You could be partying with a Capricorn. Okay. Or, like, someone's saying that you're, like, a show-off or you live a very lavish lifestyle. Okay, and someone's also saying that you're doing spell work to have what you have because it says don't it says it says don't be fooled and then hex when I split the deck. So it's like someone could be saying that you're doing spell work to have the things that you have. Um again, like someone here is definitely hating. Turn back, oh no. And I specifically said that in your reading like two days ago, I believe. Like if you're going somewhere and spirit tells you to turn back don't do it like that's just confirmation there for somebody some of you could be going to a concert or some form of event this month blood clot buy the lottery i split the deck it said tickets and then it said lottery buy the lottery you're gonna come into like a large lump sum of money and like everyone's gonna be like what the fuck if i were you i wouldn't tell anybody <laughs> when you come into this large sum of money because i always say if i win the lottery nobody will nobody will know i'm not telling no one like how did they know? How would they know? So I'm getting TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. So someone's someone's basically saying, or somebody could be saying that you're into fraud 
or you do fraudulent things to make money. But again, we have clout hungry here. So this person's chatting shit. Don't be ashamed of your past and switch lanes. So this again, this is an obsessed lover that keeps showing up in all your readings for some reason who like is determined to seek some form of revenge. The seven of cups and the queen of cups. Pisces, Scorpio energy, or again, like somebody's confused, like why you're still here, like because you surrender to the divine, that's why, okay, like you surrender, like you place everything in the hands of the Almighty, you place everything in the hands of the universe. You're spiritual, you believe in yourself. I'm also hearing limitless, so you're limitless, so like nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Like that's the energy that you're going to be embodying for the month of March. Like nothing can stop you. Like you're all the way up. Period. Why is legal issues here, please, for Cancerians? We have the Four of Swords, so Libra Aquarius energy. Mm. So someone could be in prison, an Aquarius or a um Libra or a Sagittarius here. Okay, like something's not going to work out here for somebody. Like for some of you, like there may be a court case that may not that may not rule in your favor. Again, if this has something to do, if this is like a child custody case, um, and you're dealing with someone who is already in a relationship with someone else or who is married to somebody else, um, I feel as if this person here is going to cause friction or this person is the reason why like your person's person is the reason why like this court case is going the way that it is like whoever you have children with their partner wears the pants or their partner has control over them okay Yeah, the five of cups. So there's going to be like some form of disappointing news here. Okay. Um, or somebody may be going to prison because they had they they owe like so much money on like child support payments. And you hear the sirens here. Yeah, like it's like someone here intentionally wanted you to suffer, or someone here intentionally wanted you to struggle. Okay, and that's because they're being influenced by their partner here. They're being influenced by somebody who they're in some form of commitment with or relationship with. Why is obsessive lover here, please? We have the strength card. So again, somebody who wants to have some form of control, dominion over you. Okay, I feel like this person here doesn't want you to love yourself. So you could be dealing with a Leo. This could be a Leo ex of yours. I heard thorn in your side. Yeah, the seven of wands, Leo energy. Like this person here is a thorn in your side. This person here is upset because it's like, when you left them, things didn't go bad for you. Things actually got better for you. The seven of wands and you're protecting your heart space as well. The tower. The seven of swords and the hermit. This person here is so grimy. As I said, Cancerians, it's like this person. Some of you literally chill out on top of your rooftop. But that is so cool. This is giving me Jamaica vibes. <laughs> but yeah, some of you definitely could like chill out on the, the roof top of your property okay or like you have like a open balcony if you're in apartments that's the energy that i'm picking up but your lounge is like on the top floor because i'm getting whoever this person is who is being manipulative um you're still being protected from this person so i'm kind of like getting that you have a stalker on your hands okay whoever this ex-partner is of yours or whoever this obsessive lover is of yours or your persons okay they're definitely keeping track of you here ace of swords this is the truth okay why is clout hungry here please for cancerians we have the temperance this person just wants to disturb your peace that's all it is <laughs> things are looking really well for you cancerians or they are about to the ace of pentacles like money this is what i'm saying y'all need to buy the lottery and it's crazy because i've been saying this like for the past two weeks i need to buy the lottery i need to buy the lottery i keep saying i need to buy the lottery and i never buy it but i i would, I would advise you guys to buy it because it's like spirit is blessing you with the ace of pentacles and you already have the casino here so there's going to be a lot of money it's never too late to achieve your goals like this could be like a better paying job or again this could be like some form of payment being released onto you 
okay but this is like a blessing from the divine here one more on clout hungry please for cancerians way too many for some of you this is your own boss that's chatting shit about you because you're leaving okay the two of swords so again it's like you need to keep this blessing a secret like you need you need to keep how you make your money to yourself as well with the hermit because it's like because somebody can't figure out how you do what you do or how you maintain yourself it's like this person here is willing to say anything to kind of bring you down with that clout hungry energy always partying the six of ones literally you're going to be partying okay there's something very much successful coming in for you here cancerians a lot of victory a lot of success are shade the ten of cups literally partying 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 so you're celebrating there's something you know coming in in the future for you to like be very proud of here wow and then we've got the ten of swords so somebody is mad this could be like a family function or a family get together the eight of cups the star you're like why the fuck did i even come here so there's something here like you're going to be partying but it's like there's going to be like someone here who like wants to like Bring just negative vibes. What's the Ten of Swords? The King of Cups. So this could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Who is going to be bringing this negative vibes? Or this could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio family member. Why is the King of Cups here? We have the Nine of Cups. So strong Pisces energy. But with the Ten of Swords here, it's like somebody's upset. So like somebody wants to fight you because you're happy or somebody's mad because you're happy, okay? Some of you are definitely in a same-sex relationship here, okay? If I'm talking to the masculine cancerians, you definitely could be in a same-sex relationship here, but someone here is just mad for no reason. Like somebody here is mad. Like whoever this person is, um, again... This person could even be out whilst you're partying. What is this? Because it's like someone here like wants something to like... It's like someone wants you to suffer or someone here wants you to have like a major ending here, but it's like, it's not going to happen. The judgment and the death could literally be somebody praying on your downfall, somebody praying about a death or praying on your, or praying for you to pass away with the Ten of Swords. Or this could be you praying for change. Like what you're celebrating now is kind of like, you're now seeing the answers. You're now being rewarded for shit that you prayed about like 20 years ago, 10 years ago. Like you're now seeing the rewards. Like, again, it's like people see your glory, but they don't know your story and it's making them nervous. So you do have a lot of people watching you. I feel like something here is definitely going to like happen suddenly or overnight. Like something is going to change very quickly for you. And you're going to have a lot of people like wondering, like, how did cancer do this? How did cancer achieve this? But again, with the judgment and the death card, it's like you're praying. You were praying or again, you are praying for this change. You are praying to no longer struggle. You are praying to no longer suffer. You are praying for answers. OK, and the truth is being illuminated to you. Or again, you're now receiving this change, this transformation, it's happening now because it's something that you prayed for. It's something that you manifested and you never gave up. So, yeah. What deck was I using? I can literally, jackpot is at the bottom of this deck. Jackpot, love triangle and happiness hater. So that's what I'm getting like. You're going to come into some form of money, fame, fortune, Multiple people here are going to be pissed off. People who played you, people who juggled you, friend, family, foe, whole, because you're going to be happy. So it's like, you're going to have a lot of haters. You're going to have a lot of haters who are hating. Queen rising, like you're stepping up in either the spotlight or something here is going to happen for you. A lot of celebration, a lot of victory for you. And you got people mad. This could be a new home. 
you could be moving into a new home here okay some of you could have lost a home okay but you're going to be moving into a new home very soon okay tell me more please messages for cancerans what else do cancerans need to know please spirit we have deja vu food poisoning i'm sure this came out in your last reading part one and part two you're definitely watching a lot of series documentaries okay so again something could have happened to a child or you know just be careful here deja vu food poisoning and red eye so i'm getting pink eye someone here could potentially have pink eye be unwell right now but again, it's like your something here is being revealed. This legal matter again could have something to do with a child. Like there could be like a mean step parent here who is abusing your child, or again, some truth is going to be revealed about something that took place here. Um, in regards to something that happened to a child here, but it's like spirit is saying that you're also getting premonition. So I'm getting that your psychic abilities are heightening. Okay. Um, so a lot of things, that, as I said, that are coming to pass now are things that you saw or dreamt or revealed years ago that are now coming to pass. With this always partying energy and food poisoning energy, I've been saying this to you guys all month. Do not accept no form of liquor or anything from anybody unless you're the one that bought it or you witness them buy it, you know, because this could be what this betrayal is. Like you've got a lot of cups, a lot of drinking, the nine of cups drinking, the ten of cups drinking, partying, plus the two cups that came out first, the two cards that came out first with the cup. So there's a lot of things to celebrate, but there's also a lot of drinking, a lot of intoxication. And with the ten of um, swords here, this could be somebody wanting to spike you because they are jealous of you. Again, there could be something that you're even winning. This could be like a grand open into a business or something of that nature but somebody like wants you to be embarrassed okay or somebody wants something to happen to major where it's like there's no comeback from it yeah fight back news reporter so again this could be something that is being you know published this could be something online i was picking up the energy of tiktok but there's some form of betrayal here okay tell me more please yeah, we have ex-partner. So that's what I'm getting. This could be somebody who you're now separated from, who you're going through some form of divorce with or some form of um, child custody case with here. Okay. And again, it's like your ex-partner, again, it's like they kind of like want you to suffer in a sense. Okay. But it's like you're standing your ground. Okay. So for some of you, this, this court case may work out in your favor. If, if you have children with an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, um, this person here, for example, say, for example, this person was ordered to pay, I don't know, £200 a month in child support. The judge is going to be so tired by the time this, this case is finished that, for example, with the Eight of Pentacles being in reverse, this person may end up being down 800 pounds because instead of now paying 200 pound a month they now have to pay a thousand pound a month if that makes sense my way taurus literally if you were dealing with a taurus this is a, somebody who wanted to have things their way and the judge gonna be like no bitch you're gonna pay up or you're going for a divorce with someone here who doesn't want to divorce you they're making your life a living hell Okay, but this person's karma is going to be that they're going to break a limb, a hand, a foot, whatever. Somewhere on them is going to break because your ancestors have had enough of this person. Tell me more, please. Messages for Cancerians, please. Messages for Cancerians, please, spirit. So we have decomposition. Literally something breaking down, deteriorating. So again, like... Whoever this obsessed ex-lover is of yours, it's like they want something for yours to be sabotaged here. They want a foundation for you to crumble or they literally could be that mad to the point where they literally want to burn down a house or do something spiteful. We have soldier. So this is somebody who tried to make you feel insecure with this body dysmorphia energy. You could potentially of being somebody who was insecure or suffered from body dysmorphia. And it's like with the Ace of Cups, again, it's like you had to take back your power, especially if you were dealing with a Leo here. 
this is someone here who wanted you to feel insecure about yourself. And it's kind of like, again, you had to take back your power from whoever this person is. We have air ambulance. So this person, again, is literally plotting this for you. Because soldier and air ambulance energy would kind of like go together. And then I'm hearing bombs over Baghdad. Someone here is definitely a soldier. So this person here, again, is wanting to sabotage you, ghosts and radio presenter. I'm just getting that. For some of you, something may happen to your home, God forbid. But with ghosts and radio presenter, it's like your ancestors are around you. So it's like you could be sleeping. You may hear somebody call your name clear as day. And when you look, there's nobody there. But that's like a signal for you to get up or do something here. Tell me more, please. Messages for Cancerians. We have shots fired and aliens. So this person is attacking you because you're different. You're set apart with this alien energy. Okay, we have get grounded. And then we have Reiki healer. So this could be like some form of spiritual business. You could be a part of the spiritual community. You could be a Reiki healer. You could have done the work, okay? You did your shadow work and shadow work is never done. Okay, but this could be why these individuals are attacking you because the work that you are willing to put in, they're not willing to put in. So it's like, how are you going to hate on my hustle if you don't even have ambition? How are you going to hate on like what cancers are achieving and you could never. So again, this person is attacking you because you're different. We have car accident and alley. So this person here could be trying to manifest some form of accident for you. Car accident here. This could literally be somebody like firing shots from an alley, vomit Aries. So this could be like an Aries or this could literally be somebody who is trying to attack your business. OK, um, some of you could have a um, healing business here with vomit and Aries or some of you definitely are part of the healthcare sector here. Tell me more, please. Messages for Cancerians. We have airs ringing. Boy, that music is going to be blasting. <laughs> it will all make sense soon. Dickhead. And Halo. So something is going to be revealed about a... Uh, someone who is a dickhead. <laughs> Why? Something's going to be revealed about someone who is a dickhead or someone is something is going to be revealed about a Sagittarius here. We have Pilot and Lottery. Okay, but again, Pilot speaks about movement. You're going to be moving towards money or you're going to be achieving some form of money here, okay? I don't even remember where I was because my buzzer went off and I completely got distracted, Cancerians. But I believe I was saying that something is going to be revealed to you about a... Um, Sagittarius, but then I split the deck and it was Pilot and Lottery, so... Again, Cancerians, again, money is coming in for you. Like, it's eventually going to be coming in for you. A pilot controls a plane, which is movement and lottery. So, again, Spirit is making it very clear here that a lot of money is going to be coming your way. Or Spirit wants you to know that, again, there's someone here who is literally a dickhead who is could potentially be this masculine or who could potentially be an ex-lover of yours here the end and TikTok, literally. So I don't know, you could be going viral. Something here could be potentially going viral for you. We have King, CCTV and H2O. So again, there's like a masculine energy here watching you, not your problem, engineer, husband. So an earth sign, there's a Taurus or a Virgo here watching you, watching your every move here, Cancerians. This is someone who is a sex addict, who is full of shit, who treated you literally like an animal. And the only animal here in these cards is this rat. Okay. And when you dream of rats, that's always poverty. Someone attacking your finances. So whoever this earth sign is, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, ex-lover of yours is, they could be this person here who is literally a dickhead here, okay, who wants you to suffer or who is trying to destroy you here because things are looking great for you let's see what else spirit wants you to know so we have eviction gemini and allergies and news reporter so again you could have potentially lost a home here 
Okay, you could be potentially divorcing a Gemini. Okay, you could be moving out of a family home. That's also what I am getting. You could be moving out of a family home or you're going through some form of battle in regards to assets, in regards to somebody who passed away. That's what I'm also getting. For you, Cancers, we have keys. If the walls could talk, divine and Leo. I can't make this up. This Leo is like obsessed with you. Keys would break down to this home energy. If the walls could talk, divine, Leo, literally. So this is a fire sign, as I said, who could be wanting something for you to like fall apart, crumble, sneezing. So this is the truth. Why is Leo here, please, for Cancerians? We have Capricorn, Coven, and Hidden Body. So there's somebody, so somebody burns down a house because a body is in the house. This Leo is obsessed with you or this Leo is working alongside a Capricorn because they're part of some form of coven here. So it's a Capricorn, a Leo, a, a Sagittarius and a Libra. And Spirit says yes. Yoga and Florida water. So Spirit wants you to cleanse your energy from these signs or these people here. Cover up in Judas. So this is like a group effort to come against you. Okay. So again, just be careful. Why is Leo here? We have Icubus, poison. There you go. So it's like, stay away from a Leo here or a Leo could have poisoned somebody here. What's Capricorn? Bitch, I'm a bear, bitch. You can't kill me. An insurance policy. So again, like, so... <laughs> So this is their karma, basically. So these individuals here have taken out some form of insurance policy on you and they're just going to watch you win the lottery and be rich. <laughs> Sage, yes, this is facts. Especially a sanitarius. But again, it's like you need to cleanse your energy, um, Cancerians. So we have telepathic connection, judgment, rituals, Halloween. So this Sagittarius is going to go under some form of judgment or whoever these signs are that we're doing this to you, these, these rituals on you, they're going to go under karma and they've been doing this since Halloween. Lord. Three Sims police officer, different strokes, literally. Like these are people who are attached to um, a masculine Leo. Who is doing this to you? Clarify, police officer, because this energy keeps showing up in your readings also, Cancers. Police officer. We have drowning, fake accounts. So this may be this TikTok energy that I was picking up. Somebody may set up a fake account speaking about what happened. And it's a Sagittarius. So like, again, there's something here. This is what I was getting. Like someone was praying for somebody's death or somebody was praying for the revelation of a death. Like this energy is now showing here. Okay. So like a Sagittarius could be making like a fake account here, pretending to like expose what really happened. Public confessions. This is the truth. But it's like, it could be like to kind of like deter you from the actual truth. So just be aware of that. Why Sagittarius here? We have grandmother. So this is a feminine energy, an older energy, airs ringing and publicity stunt. As I said, this person is going to create a fake account speaking about the death or speaking about somebody's death here. But it's like a publicity stunt. Public confession. This is the truth. Prayer warrior. Judgment, which would be a Sagittarius. And then we have hospital. So this person could be conf confessing from hospital. <clears throat> Okay, let's see. We have illegal immigrants, pharmacist, godmother, and weed. So somebody was spiked by a karmic feminine. Who is the illegal immigrant? The Sagittarius, sage, yes, demons, Libra. Why is Libra here? Babylon, doctor, vomit, murder on the beat. 
So these could be people who also work in healthcare, who are going around and killing people. The gift of gab. DJ at a party. Like, this is what I'm getting. Highly blessed, open your goddamn eyes. Or jar spells in tranquil spirits. Lord. Kansas. <laughs> Let me just close out this reading because literally... Wow. Right. Closing out. Let's see what our spirit wants you to know. Let's see. Messages for Cancerians, please. We have rejected. Ashamed. So someone here is going to be shunned. That's what I'm getting. This feminine Sagittarius here is going to be shunned for something. That's what I'm getting. Like someone here is going to be shunned and because the truth is about to come out. Like someone's trying to like counteract the truth. Someone's trying to counteract whatever you already know. And um, yeah, their art is about to be exposed, Cancerians. So with that being said, I wish you guys all the best. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll touch base with you guys whenever I feel like. Take care, guys.